I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, topics in, in dentistry and why is this important? Well, I believe dental health is extremely important. Dental disease is associated with more and more, we're finding associations with systemic disease. Uh, healthy mouth, healthy body, very important connection. Some features of xylitol, you can take out your little xylitol packets, take out a xylitol packet out of your treasure box and in there also you'll probably find a sugar cube. This is one spoonful of sugar, four grams. This is one spoonful of xylitol, four grams. Xylitol is a bulk sweetener. It has the same bulk, the same sweetness as regular sucrose sugar. Uh, so it could be substituted one for one in products that use sucrose sugar. Uh, if you're adventuresome and want to try some now, you can put some on your tongue. You'll notice a sweet, uh, sort of a cooling sensation with the uh, xylitol. When xylitol dissolves, uh, you'll have that cooling sensation if you dissolve it in, in tea or water first and, and sip on it, it'll taste just like sugar in most applications, about the same sweetness. Uh, xylitol is naturally occurring in human metabolism. Uh, it's uh, low calorie, low glycemic, low insulinemic, and uh, as Dr. Mackin mentioned, it has been used as an energy source in, um, in IV nutrition. And something interesting that was found early on with uh, xylitol feeding, IV feeding, is that it has an anti-catabolic effect. It helps preserve muscle mass. So I brought my swimsuit edition of Muscular <laughs> Development Magazine. It has an article about xylitol in it. Well, look, there's a centerfold. <laughs> So if you don't look like this, maybe you're not using enough xylitol. <laughs> or maybe you're a woman. <laughs> so also, it's already been mentioned, enhances calcium absorption, helps prevent tooth decay, helps prevent ear infections, upper respiratory infection, helps slow stomach emptying and increases satiety, feelings of fullness. Uh, xylitol is very low on the glycemic index. Uh, compared to glucose, uh, which has a glycemic index of 100, uh, xylitol has a glycemic index of 7. So very small changes in blood sugar with uh, xylitol use. Also notice with the glucose, uh, after a half an hour of a, a blood sugar spike, uh, the blood sugar begins to drop very rapidly and in that time where the blood sugar is falling rapidly is when we feel tired and irritable and hungry and, and we have the cravings we, we just want to reach for more sugar so we keep the cycle going we want to stay uh, up here or we want to keep increasing the, the blood sugar we don't like this sudden drop and notice if you go out long enough uh, it actually falls below base, the blood sugar falls below baseline with uh, glucose and it doesn't with the xylitol. Also xylitol has a, a correspondingly small increase in, in insulin le levels and we have the paper if anybody wants to check that um, later during the program. Benefits of xylitol for patients, again we have to keep our patients happy. Uh, xylitol works, it's effective, that's the main thing. But it's convenient and enjoyable so we get better cooperation with our patients. Uh, it's portable. It's easy prevention for your teeth. You take it with you. You take these little packets of uh, xylitol chewing gum or mints with you wherever you go. Even places where you can't use xylitol chewing gum, you can always use xylitol mint or xylitol candy. Uh, so it's very convenient, very easy to use. Let's talk a little bit about the tooth decay process because sometimes we're used to thinking of tooth decay as just holes in the teeth, but the cavities are just a result of the decay process. Uh, there, for a decay process to occur we need a susceptible tooth. Here's one that's way in back of the mouth. It's attacked and demineralized by acids that are made by germs. I call them acid germs. They're the, uh, the strep mutans bacteria that our professors talk about here and, and other uh, acid forming bacteria in the mouth. Uh, but it's the acids made from the fermentation of sugars, not so much the direct acids that we, we drink in, in acidic, uh, let's say, lemonade, but it's the, the fermentation products where the bacteria take those 
uh, sugars and uh, create acids on the teeth. Now, let's see if we can find the tooth decay. <laughs> this little spot here, that's not the whole problem. When we were in dental school, we all aspired to be holistic dentists. To us, that meant we'd look for holes and fill them. <laughs> oh, okay, there's a hole, let's fill it. <laughs> well, I had some very wise professors who told me that, you know, you really need to look at the bigger picture sometimes. <laughs> We're talking about a decay process here, not just a hole in the tooth. So let's look at the same picture. This picture could tell a lot of stories. This tooth is way in back in the mouth. There was a tooth right next to it, right here, that was extracted. So this is hard to brush, hard to floss, very difficult to get to. How could xylitol modify that? Well, at the time that tooth was erupting, when it was first coming in to that environment, if instead of erupting into uh, an environment populated by these acid germs, if we had been using xylitol at the time that the tooth was coming in, it would be erupting into a clean, non-acid environment. The xylitol being a carrier for calcium would get calcium and, and minerals into that tooth. It would be a less susceptible tooth from the beginning. Uh, notice when this tooth next to it was extracted, well, that's where you see a problem. That area was being attacked and demineralized by acid, this whole area, because there was a tooth next to that, made by the acid germs. Well, they found a place that they could hide. They hide in that area between the teeth where it's hard to get to, it's hard to clean. The saliva can't even get there effectively. Uh, what can xylitol do about that? Well, xylitol can suppress the acid, suppress the germs the acid germs that cause the acid. You're not having the sugar, you're having the xylitol instead. Uh, you're not having that acid. If you look at this, this is a whole area is demineralized. Now there's an area where the xylitol can reach, the saliva can reach. It's not too late to do something now. And those little areas, we found that sometimes those little cavities can actually heal. They can remineralize with xylitol use. And especially an area like this where you can have natural rinsing action from the saliva and the xylitol, they can actually reharden. That's, that was pretty amazing for us to, to grasp that at the beginning because, uh, it, it, like, like I say, back in dental school, you see cavities, you want to go after it, that's worth, you know, one credit, I need that, <laughs> let's fill it. Now we're more likely to try to remineralize those spots.